shame you have wrapped yourself in. There is hope for the tree that is cut down, because at this end of water, it shall spring back to life again. You go, you are a soldier in the army of God, and the host awaits your response to declare your call. Ada balaka baru, 
Ring brata bradi do zakra di baba bara tela baro tala tele baria tala bakos. Rimanda tala kosa pradi tela baro tele vida bante. Maka baski baba yan tala bara kosi pradi baba lo. Ya buranda brada baka balada basha baba 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 ba. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Braziza brothers. Oh, thank you, Father. Unto you who answers prayer shall all flesh come. We know that you are the God who hears, the God who sees, the God who is able to cause his face to shine upon us, the God who orders our steps, the God who reveals his counsel to us, who has not left us in darkness or in confusion. He has not left us as orphans. Bama Mayanda Rabada. Worship him, my friends. Give him praise and the glory. Go ahead again, it's another time. It's another time of encounter. Prasale. Kubale de Baretalena. Gidaba, Sadaba, Gadaba, La Barata. Rejoice wherever you are, rejoice, rejoice. He's bringing his word to pass. He stands by his word to bring you to pass. He's faithful, the faithful God, the Almighty. Thank you. Go ahead and worship him. Brahata Labako. Leva Babarande Kakroza Zibaha. Leva Barato Shadabalagadabade. Mahande Lavada. Da 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Yeka ba 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 ba. Ra da 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 ba 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 ba. Yikos la kabos. It's time to fulfill prophecies. Kalaba. There is hope for you. You are not alone. You are not alone. Glory to God. Thank you. And the host awaits your response to declare your call. Can you feel the stirring? The stirring in your belly as your father calls out to you now. Can you feel the burning of the fire long shut up in your bones? Can you feel the breaking of Welcome everyone, good evening to you. I rejoice that you are again together with me online as we continue our 40 days of glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. No more excuses. You are changing levels. You are changing you are changing levels by the power of the spirit. You are coming to a season of alignment by the power of the spirit. You know what to do. The hand of God is upon you. The grace of God is upon you. The power of God is upon you. The ability of the Spirit is upon you. The ability of the Spirit is upon you. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not faint. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. Glory to God for tonight. Good evening, my friends. I believe that you are enjoying the grace and the glory of God in this season and more than ever before you are you are learning the ways of God no man can fulfill prophetic destiny until he comes not just to know the acts of God but to understand the ways of God his ways are past finding out 
so it will take more than intelligent quota or quotient it will take more than iq to understand the ways of god it takes a meek spirit a teachable spirit it, it the, the heart of a man who trembles at the word of god who is willing to receive and live by the counsel of the lord most high and this is why we are here today is a continuation of our current series in the 40 days of glory please uh, in the chat box very briefly as our custom is let me know where you're chatting from very quickly your name and where you're chatting from for those who are not using chrome uh let us know where you're following from tonight i'll do that for just a minute and then i'll begin to teach thank you holy spirit there is grace supplied for tonight's meeting there is grace supplied i want to greet my friends god bless you my friend from lagos i see you god bless you all right the power of prophecy all right god bless you from akure Undo state god bless you kaboranda vrahasa zabalados zikata labarinda dabaratos lenkru dabades god bless you my sister from adoekiti god bless you my sister from lagos nigeria god bless you from shongutedu lagos god bless you sir oh ma God bless you. Good to have you here. Our lives will not be the same. God bless you, our friend and sister from Maryland, USA. God bless you from Ibadan. God bless you real good. You are strengthened, my brother. God bless you from Ogun State. Hey, my friend from Ogun State. God bless you, Miracle from Kogi State. A wonderful mentee. God bless you. You are doing a good work in Kogi State. The hand of God is upon you guys. You will pull down darkness and establish God's will in that territory. In the name of Jesus. I'll take two or three more. And then I'll begin to teach. My spirit is fired up tonight. And I have to begin to teach. Glory to God. I acknowledge your presence, my friends. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, from Obawale, Lagos. <laughs> God bless you. That's my area. God bless you. My area in Lagos, my father's house area in Lagos. All right, that's where we grew up. God bless you, Joy, from Adue Kitty. I celebrate you. More grace to you. Wow, more grace to you. We have some new friends online tonight. Okay, let's make progress. Here, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We are grateful to you because you bring to us the counsel of the Father per time. You have not left us as orphans, bewildered by the current happenings in the world you have caused us to thrive irrespective of the whiplash of pain of mediocrity and anxiety that has bedeviled a generation you have kept us you have kept your word to us you have validated the power of prophecy through the manifestations of your power of your grace of your glory of your wisdom and your ability to bring to bear the counsel of the father in our individual lives in our various ministries and families thank you father because tonight again you will come strong yes you will declare your counsel to us you will glorify your name in jesus name amen god bless you everyone let us make progress tonight let us make progress tonight the power of prophecy part three we've done part one of the power of prophecy explaining how that creation is a product of prophecy how that god is eternal but when he speaks it becomes prophetic because of his omnipotence his ability to bring to bear whatever he has said that means god cannot lie not just because lie is a bad thing but god cannot lie because every word of god is full of power the voice of god is majestic the voice of god is full of glory the voice of god reveals a dimension of his essence the voice of god is a container of divine possibilities and so when god speaks no job of his word will return to him until it has accomplished that which it was sent to do so the word of god the voice of god conveys to humanity reveals to creation the power the authority of 
of God. Why? Because he is the father of creation. And so when God speaks, he is not trying to suggest to humanity. He is not trying to suggest to creation. He is not necessarily advising creation. He is actually commanding. His word is law. Why? God is not running a democracy. God is running a kingdom. So God cannot lie because he is God. God cannot lie because no word of a king, no word of the king of kings is void of power. When he says it, every part of creation will respond to ensure the fulfillment of whatever he has said. You, I don't think you understand what I mean. What I mean is that when God speaks, even if angels don't act, configured in creation is the ability and the capacity to respond to the voice of his maker. That's why the Bible says in the book of Psalms uh, that the word of God tears the cedars of Lebanon apart. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of God is full of power. The Bible says that when he utters his word, even the earth shakes, the earth trembles. He says, uh, what ail the old mountain that you skip like lambs or little hills like rams? He said, tremble thou, O earth, at the voice of God. So when God speak, the power to bring it to bear is already available. God is not trying to see if his word will come to pass. God, it has come to pass. That's why God said it. When God says it, it already comes to pass. Why? God is omnipotent. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so that was part one. In part two, I began to share certain stories in scripture because I believe that um, one of the reasons why these days I've been trying to show you stuff from Old Testament is because all scripture, all right, is given, 2 Timothy 3, 16, is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. You see that? That all scripture is actually profitable. They don't only reprove us. They don't only bring rebuke. They, they bring correction. They bring guidance. They bring clarity. They bring direction. They establish us in present truth. They bring us into the current revelation position of the spirit of God. They reveal to us the character of God. They reveal to us the ways of God. They reveal to us the nature of God. They reveal to us the attributes of God. So that as we behold Christ, we also check the written text and we find out that God not, does not contradict himself. It is our limitation, the limitation of the human understanding standing that makes it look as if god is contradicting himself but god does not contradict himself so in part two we began to look at stories from the old testament all right we looked at the story of jehoshaphat how he went to meet the prophet and the prophet requested for a minstrel and i began to say that sometimes you may not be able to necessarily change your environment you know you're living under your parents they can't allow you to go anywhere and this and that but you can control your atmosphere i began to say that there is a lot that has to do with atmosphere when it comes to engaging the prophetic dimension all right, we shared on the, 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 the power of prophecy, how that the prophet came in Second Kings and then he uttered the word of God that by this time tomorrow, a sea of flow shall become, you know, a shekel. And the, the Lord on whom armed the king rested said, even if God, that was the mistake he made. He didn't know that God does not speak based on your limitations and situations. God does not consult CBN to give you his word for your life. God is almighty. Everything you need to fulfill your destiny is actually in him. In him we live, we move and have our being. All things that we will ever need are already in him. He is the author of all things. You see that? So when God spoke and that man disbelieved it, and I began to share with you the dimensions of unbelief, that hesitating to obey the instructions of God is unbelief. Disobedience is also a proof of unbelief. Arguing with God based on your circumstances is unbelief. Allowing your emotions to override the truth of God's word in your life is unbelief. And then we began to look at um, the book of Ezra. How that by the finger of God in the book of Ezra, uh, the people built, all right, by the prophesying of Zechariah, the son of Edo, um, all right, the, prophet, the prophesying of the men of God were actually the foundations for the building and the completing of the assignment of men. So we said that the prophetic is very powerful because the prophetic does not only reveal the mind of God, the prophetic is, does not only reveal, the prophetic also brings to bear. That means there is a creative element in the power of prophecy. The prophetic has a creative element. That means that which was not there before can now be there because of an utterance that comes under the inspiration under the unction of the holy one tonight we continue the power of prophecy part number three glory to god in the highest 
I pray for you, my friends, that by the message of God and in the name of Jesus Christ, the prophecies that have been uttered over you in these current 40 days of glory, the words that you have declared over your life and that we have brought to you and all the servants of God that have ministered, I declare that they will find expression in your life in the name of Jesus and the grace to position yourself to receive the, the maximum benefits of the redemption that is in Christ Jesus is released unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we continue with the power of prophecy part 3 and I want to show you a few things. Joel chapter 2 verse number 28 uh, which I know is a popular scripture but I want us to look at it in light. J Joel chapter number 2 I want us to begin from just verse 28. This is the Lord or I promising to us the outpouring of the Spirit. How that in the last days, what we are going to find is actually a combination of the former rain and the latter rain. So it is not going to be just the former rain. It is not just going to be the former operations, but it's going to be both the former rain and the later rain. Why? It's going to give us both the former and the later rain in one month. That means the operations of the word of God and the spirit of God are going to bring to bear the counsel of God for our lives. I mean, simultaneously, you cannot divorce the word from the spirit. You cannot divorce the spirit from the word. There may be quotations here and there. There may be positive sayings here and there. There may be optimistic motivational quotes here and there. But as long as it is the ministry of the word of God and you want it to produce results you have to partner with the spirit who is the author of the word my friends the Holy Spirit is the author of scripture holy men wrote as they were moved they wrote and spake as they were moved by the spirit men may be writers but the Holy Ghost is the author of scripture now Joel 2 28 and it shall come to pass Kalamanaya. and it shall come to pass you see the power of prophecy the, that the Messiah could not come until prophecy came before him God had to prophesy our redemption beginning from Eden Genesis 3 15 God prophesied our redemption from Eden listen in Matthew 1 the prophecy of the coming Messiah corroborating what Isaiah and the other prophets had already seen but were not able to see in their days you see that and it came to pass afterward it shall come Come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit, the Holy Spirit, upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. I like that word. Prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Let's stop there. Now, for the sake of context, you need to understand that Joel is actually a solid uh, prophet of God. Disaster struck the southern kingdom of Judah without warning. So what happened was that God actually sent Joel, and the meaning of Joel is Yahweh is God. All right, Yahweh is God. That means a, a, the life of a kind of a man that will come to prove the sovereignty, the might, the power, and the possibilities that is available in the Godhead. He says, Joel. All right, Joel. He says, It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that in that day or afterward, I will pour out my spirit. So you see that the Holy Spirit. Is actually the author of prophecy. You know, I've, I, I've explained the difference between false prophets and genuine prophets, I think, in part two. The Holy Spirit is actually the one behind true prophecies. The Holy Spirit is the one behind genuine prophecy. You cannot have genuine prophecy. Now, listen, you can have a correct word. You can have a correct statement of fact. But you cannot have genuine prophecy without the spirit of prophecy. Listen, there is the gift of prophecy. But the gift of prophecy is actually given by what? The spirit of prophecy. It shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out my spirit. In fact, another version says, I will pour out of my spirit. I will pour out of my spirit. Alright, it's going to be like a gush upon you. The sons and daughters shall prophesy. So, the prophetic is not limited to emojis only the prophetic is not limited to brothers only the prophetic is not limited to men only the prophetic 
does not listen the holy ghost does not have a gender bias the prophetic is not limited to male only or to female only the prophetic is for both sons and daughters old men will dream dreams young men will see visions but he said he will power to spirit and in the book of acts of the apostles you will find the fulfillment of this prophecy please turn with me let's just do a little theological uh background tonight if you look at acts of the apostles chapter number two i would read beginning from verse one when the day of pentecost had fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly <laughs> just like the holy ghost will encounter someone in their rooms tonight suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting that means you can be sitting right there where you are and then i release an utterance because there is no distance in the realm of the spirit an utterance inspired by the holy ghost and god meets you at the point of your need right there where you are on your chair for instance i can say the hand of god rest upon you right there where you are and grant you wisdom and inside tonight as you go to bed and you'll be surprised that you wake up tomorrow morning and ideas are already flooding your heart are you with me as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting then there appeared unto them all right divided tongues as of fire and one sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit hallelujah and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit of god gave them utterance all right and then people came all right from jerusalem devout men from every nation and under heaven and they began to say ah, what what what's going on here these people are speaking our language they are glorifying god because they are speaking the medes the parthians the elamites Cappadocia, pontus phrygia pamphylia egypt or parts of libya you know they were scritians arabs they were speaking the wonderful works of god the people were amazed yet they were also perplexed saying ah what, what what could this mean manna what was the what's the meaning of this what's happening and then peter stood up and then so acts chapter number two is actually a fulfillment of what of joel 2 are you with me acts chapter 2 is a fulfillment of joel 2 peter acts chapter 2 verse 14 peter standing up with the 11 raised his voice and said to them men of judea and all who dwell in jerusalem let this be known to you and heed my words for these are not drunk as you suppose since it is only the third hour of the day but this is that calamo hallelujah i feel like speaking in tongues tonight my friends he says this is that king james calls it this is that new king james says this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel <laughs> Joel said it Joel did not see it listen the prophetic is powerful a man can say it and he may not see it but words don't die because there are spirits that carries these words but SG Elton gave a prophecy concerning Nigeria and concerning the youth of Nigeria and many years after he had died NYSC was formed NCCF was formed why the man died but his words were still alive one of the systems you see of sustaining your voice your impact is actually that your words outlive you you die but your words don't die oh oh i'm tempted to say something but maybe for not tonight not, not for tonight all right joel said this is that which was spoken by the prophet joel and it shall come to pass in the last day says god that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see visions your old men shall dream dreams and on my men servants and on my main servants i will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy all right i will show wonders in the heavens above signs in the earth beneath blood and fire vapor and smoke sun turned into darkness shall come to pass that whatsoever whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved so what happened was that peter here was given a treatise and by the time he was done conversion took place in the early church three thousand souls were added to them why but peter only gave an historical analysis of that which the people were experiencing but the reason why there was the convicting power behind his words was that he was not just talking history he was talking history that was powered by the power of prophecy 
so listen there are things you do on earth that may not carry a religious symbol but listen if you discern and you understand the power of prophecy although it may not look religious the holy ghost can be behind it oh you're not are you with me tonight my friends he says they shall prophesy that means they, they will communicate and behave in a way that is in line number one with the character of god they will speak communicate and behave under the influence of the spirit listen whether you like it or not the mortal man is a puppet of a spirit every man is a casing of a spirit that your eyes cannot see listen according to the law of legality you see the the realm of the spirit is a very structured realm is a very organized realm spirits don't have the permission of god to interfere with the activities of earth unless there is a man that stands as a priest are you with me this is why revelation chapter 5 or 6 all right 5 10 also all right you see isaiah also you see the bible tells us first peter also you are kings and priests unto our god and we shall reign on the earth listen your priesthood is eternal all right but your kingship can change from time to time depending on where god will want to position you for strategic kingdom advancement are you following me tonight so man is a priest man is a portal every man is actually like a puppet in the hand of his spirit every man is actually like a portal that links heaven and earth that is why jesus was teaching man to pray i would think jesus would just beg god tell man just beg god and that is all he said pray saying our father because god is the father of spirits who art in heaven hallowed be your name and then he said thy kingdom come come oh scale this these things i'm telling you tonight are very prophetic thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven why because it is given to earthly vessels or earthen vessels to communicate the treasures of zion he says we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god and not of ourselves that means that you see the treasure is in the vessel but you see the treasure cannot be found with scan the treasure is actually the eternal spirit inside the human vessel this is why when god wanted to come to earth to redeem man god did not send angels god did not send other beings he did not send the 20 and 4 elders he did not send the four beasts he did not send god came what in the flesh god had to enter man in order to save man am i talking you know people are talking about christmas and i'm not done a teaching on christmas yet and someone asked me are you not going to do a teaching on christmas what i'm teaching you now is christmas <laughs> god to, look at matthew chapter one look at verse 19 look at 20 look at 21 you are going to find the scripture saying you shall bring forth a son you will call his name jesus he will save his people from their sins again you shall bring forth a son you will call his name emmanuel why he will save his people from their sins so jesus had to become man in order to redeem man why according to the law of legality it is illegal for a spirit to manifest in the earth realm except through the permission of a man this is why abalis seem to be significant in the operations of darkness why because they give credence they give platform they give legality to the infiltration of demonic spirit and entities on the face of the earth this is why you also this is why listen god is after your heart satan too is after your heart why because he knows they both know that whoever owns your allegiance is actually going to be able to find expression through you on the earth are you with me so what men the lifestyle of every man actually gives expression to the character of a spirit either the holy spirit or another spirit are, are you are you in me tonight mm. They shall prophesy communicate and behave under the influence of the holy ghost that means there are a lot of church people who are not prophesying why number one they are not speaking in line with the word of god number two they are not living lives that fulfill prophecy oh the bible says he will save his people from their sins he didn't say he will save his people for their sins that's why when jesus met that woman he didn't say caught in the very act of adultery he didn't say go and sin on more he said go and sin no more jesus did not come to deliver you into sin he came to deliver you from sin are you with me tonight <laughs> every
every man's actually your behavior your manner of life you give expression to what the character of the spirit now now th th this is where it gets interesting when you look at the life of jesus you especially for instance in the book of john you see the, the book of matthew reveals jesus all right as a king the book of matthew reveals jesus as a king as a king that's what matthew does matthew reveals the lord jesus christ all right as a king the messianic king but that was not what mark came to do mark does not reveal jesus as a king mark reveals jesus as the servant son but when luke will reveal jesus luke revealed jesus as the divine human savior but you see the reason why john wrote the book of john was that so that all men may believe and in believing in jesus they have eternal life jesus the son of god was the theme of the book of john <laughs> Now, it is interesting because there is a difference between the title of Jesus as the Son of Man and as the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, do you realize that, you see, Jesus being Son of God, the Bible says, John 1.1, 1, 1, if you read John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, not the Son, was the Word, right? The Word was with God. The Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. By Him were all things made, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, you see that? And the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness could not catalambano it. The darkness could not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, all right, to be a witness to the light that all through him believe he was not that light, but was sent to be a witness to that light. That was the true light that lights every man that comes into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him. The world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them gave the power to become you see that to become children of God to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God hallelujah and the word became flesh the word became oh my god the word became flesh how the prophecy already began from the foundation of the world the prophecy that the servant son will come that will bruise the head of the serpent was already given but for it to be fulfilled the prophetic word had to come the spirit had to power it and then because the prophecy already listen there is nothing you experience in your life in christ that must not have first happened in prophecy prophecy must go before performance if you see performance without prophecy you are going to return to where you are coming from because prophecy is that ability of the spirit that sustains you see prophecy has a sustaining power <laughs> i ran also and became the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the only begotten the glory of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth hebrews 1 1 now began to tell us he said god who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake unto us by our fathers the prophet he said but as in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things Things uh, through whom he also made the aeons, the worlds, who being Karo Seleke, who being you see that who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he has by himself purged our sins uh, and sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they jesus is not in the class of any angel ah, yeah, 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 yeah. now now this is how this is how it works the priesthood of the believer because while well, i'm teaching you on the power of prophecy i'm actually teaching you the priesthood of the believer that you can be on earth in the corner of your room but because you are you are you are engaging certain words that are powered by the spirit under the unction the auspices of the holy ghost you are actually changing things that means it is by faith that we prophesy you cannot prophesy because of motivational code motivational code does not carry the power to engage in the realm of the spirit in the realm of the spirit no demon knows any motivational code it's only you that know motive demons don't know it 
Jesus I know, Paul I know, Paul was not doing motivational quotes, he was a preacher of the gospel. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. So when the prophetic comes from your mouth as a child of God, you must know that you, you are not guessing, you are not hoping it will work. Uh -uh. The word became flesh because of prophecy. Words too can become flesh because of prophecy. The word, the living logos, the word became flesh by prophecy. Mary believed that prophecy. She said, Be it unto me according to your word. Yet the word now became flesh. Wow, by prophecy. That means, listen, whatever God has told you can become flesh by what? prophecy that means listen, everything you are looking for they are not actually hanging somewhere they are not actually in somebody's pocket they are not actually where you think they are they are actually inside you can i talk to you somebody your future is not ahead of you your future is on your inside that means you, by your words you are justified by your words you are condemned not with time I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here tonight. It is by your words you are justified. By your words you are condemned. The Bible says a tongue is a small member of the body. He said, but the havoc that a, a small tongue can wreck, uh, even ballistic missiles can wreck it. Tongue starts worse. Tongue ends worse. Ah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help me tonight. Are you with me tonight? So, when you are speaking in line with the word of God, in submission and accordance to the authority of scripture, you must know that what you are doing is you are engaging faith. You are making the word. You are giving the word platform to become flesh. Listen, some people started prophesying and then they stopped because they said, Pastor said, keep saying it. Don't stop saying it. Uh, Pastor is just copying. Uh, which what should we be saying? We have been saying it. We've got in it. It's not working. Pastor, when will it work? Pastor, it's not working. Do you, do you carry a pregnancy today and give back to it tomorrow? As soon as Zion Tradeo she brought forth, can I, can I surprise you? There are two aspects to the prophetic. There are some prophetic that are instantaneous operations of the spirit. A prophet can tell you, all right, maybe a prophet or the word of God can come, and there is instant results. Listen, instant results is what we often call signs and wonders because they are instant. They don't follow the normal order. That's why they are different. That's why miracle signs and wonders are different from healing. Healing is that most times healing are what progressive change in your health. But signs and wonders is such that you walk, a lame walks, the one that we saw, huh? That was what a sign and a wonder because he, the, the lame worked immediately. But others that we have seen, maybe a lump may take three days to dissolve, right? It is still healing because there was no medication put, it was just direct power of God. Yes, it was also healing, it's still God that did it. But there are two aspects to it there is the one of getting you the same self same hour there is the one of getting you right there where you are it happened in the ministry of jesus the two happened in the ministry of jesus oh jesus master televeda i feel like prophesying over somebody's life tonight that in the name of jesus a supernatural 24 hour miracle will happen for you in your finance and in your health in the name of jesus 24 hour supernatural miracle you know i don't often talk i don't do this but i prophesy upon you by the message of god a supernatural 24 hours miracle that will bring glory to god and deliver you from financial shame and squalor comes to you in the name of jesus christ mm, the power of the prophetic let me show you one more scripture. Ezekiel 37 as you prepare to pray. My God. Ezekiel chapter 37 as you prepare to pray. Ra -da -ba -da -ba. Look, can we pray in the spirit for one minute first? Just receive that word. 24 hour miracle. Ra -da -da -ra -da -da. You are the one that will testify. Yes, yes, you are the one. Aha, it's you that will testify. Lego. Do you believe in 24 hour supernatural miracles that there is nothing impossible for God to do? Rabom brasata balata la kabosh. Ragadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadab
Yadabababayantakaboskabalate. I activate angelic operations in the name of Jesus because the word of God has come for angels akin to the voice of his word. Lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. Here yeah, you have a goodly heritage. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. You are in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people, receiving the right feedback that puts you in a position of maximum advantage. The Lord is your shepherd. Mandala da badaba, rida da 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 bo shante, man kata pradito, ulibiriande. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ezekiel thirty-seven very quickly. Raba da bada. And the hand. Okay. Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. Ezekiel chapter number thirty-seven, beginning from verse number one. The hand of the Lord, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out. Somebody. Listen tonight, you are coming out. I don't know who that is. The Lord said I should tell you, you are coming out of shame, of squalor. You are coming out. You are coming out. Mm -mm. You are coming out. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Mm it was full of bones that means they were alive before but something happened hey hey Kaboleda. listen pro the prophetic comes to give life to that which was already dead he didn't say there were bones and some flesh on it is already getting rotten this is not getting rotten it has finished rotting it's only bone that now remain the prophetic comes to give new life to that which is already gasping for breath, which is about to die. The prophetic, prophetic also comes to give life to that which is totally dead. That means, my God, when the prophetic is introduced, nothing is really dead. That which is dead is only relative to the grace and the dimension of the prophetic that was released to counter it. <laughs> nothing is really dead. It depends on who is talking. I nothing is really dead it depends on who is addressing it <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if you have me tonight a man died landed upon the bones of a dead prophet that didn't speak and the man dragged back to life and began to run the widow of Nain her only son died and there was nothing to live on people were following her out of the village singing when they came Jesus saw them he was moved with compassion although the boy had died the doctors are satisfied that he had died the whole city was about to bury him but listen a minute to bury her if the prophetic is introduced it can turn to a minute of testimony a minute close to burying your dreams burying your vision burying your life assignment when the prophetic is introduced it moves from burial to planting that boy would have died and died but judgment would not happen until jesus came and jesus said you know what he touched the prayer the boy jacked back to life that's not the only case lazarus come on say Ladaba. lazarus died huh he died the first day he died he was dead the second day deader the third day and deadest on the fourth day and the bible says that jesus tarried I, jesus, I love jesus does somebody love jesus tonight this is how to celebrate christmas you talk about the victories of jesus not just the birth like a baby in the garden he's more than a baby in the garden <laughs> Listen, Jesus told us, Jesus said, it is for your own sake, it is actually good that I delayed. Abba, Jesus, according to psychologists, all right, and neurosurgeons, when the brain is shut down for some time, uh, there is problem. In fact, if the person gets to come back to life, he may have mental problem. But Jesus said, Oga, that's what your textbook says. That's not what the prophetic says. Who has believed our report and unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? That means when you believe the report of the Lord, you see the arm of the Lord. Aye, Rata. When you believe the report of the Lord, you qualify to see the arm. And listen, in the New Testament, the arm of the Lord is not one hand uh, jumping on the street and scaring people. The Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit is actually the oppression of the right hand of God that do it valiantly. The right hand of the Lord that do it power is the ministry of the Holy Spirit that reveals the might of Jesus. Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of might. Are you still with me, my friends, tonight? Karamas, Jesus got there. 
Jesus tarried, did all that stuff. And on the fourth day, when Jesus got there, I would think Jesus would just say, ah, Well, my brethren, um, well, he's in heaven. I want to tell you, he's in paradise. We thank God for his life. He's in paradise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, Jesus wouldn't have said in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Somebody listen to me. From today, you will begin to laugh. I, Sola Marata, Ukuna Manetale. You will begin to your sorrow is turned to joy your sorrow is turned to joy listen the bible says that, that when jesus got there people were crying i had the uh, criers i had town criers uh, they were crying all kinds of you know the, jesus said to them can these people give space listen for the prophetic to find expression in your life sometimes you need space some of us are you are you are around too many voices of doubt that you can't even remember that the prophetic is actually real anymore. you are already doubting even if the prophetic is actually real that i can declare to you that in the name of jesus by this night your your financial story changes and you say ah for where which financial i beg see see don't you know that uh, it has to be six months before i get my return on investment we are th the, the prophetic can bring your return on investment right now before your mou come listen the, listen the word of god is that mou the roi is the prophet is the prophetic that brings it you, you, you your calculation of date is based on what forex told you this calculation of date is from the eternity if he says it's tomorrow it becomes it's not, it's not yeah. are you still with me tonight you think this thing is something listen jesus got there jesus looked at that guy and jesus said you know what? i don't even need to see lazarus i listen my friends i don't need to see you to tell you what god is saying I, uh, I don't need Jesus did not see Lazarus. Did Jesus see Lazarus? Did Jesus say ah, Lazarus? Ah, he even has uh, stretch mark. Ah, oh God, oh Lazar, Lazi. He didn't say ah, they see your beer beer. Hey, your beer beer is getting strong. Ah, Lazarus, when will you shave now? Hey, let's try to pray. No. Jesus said, roll away the stone. Jesus was out. Uh, he was standing somewhere. And then he said, roll away the stone. Ah, can I declare in the name of Jesus? Uh, the stone of oppression. The stone of barrenness. The stone of disappointment and, and problems that are orchestrated by the belly of hell to frustrate the purpose of God for your life. They are rolled away in the name of Jesus. I said they are rolled away in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Laz are you with me tonight lazarus came and jesus said lazarus the bible says jesus cried out with a loud voice listen sometimes your voice needs to be louder than your 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 your, your surroundings why so that you can quiet the unbelief around you listen if you don't say anything in your secret place uh, i believe i will be great i believe i will change i believe my life is good uh, the lord is my shepherd it has to quiet christianity is not for the quiet fellow sometimes you need to roar and say i know my redeemer lives he is able to save unto the uttermost he leads me in the path of righteousness yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil you need to let yourself your spirit your soul your body even the devil know that you mean business with god the reason why you are too quiet you are too they tell you don't be quiet don't talk. listen there are times to be quiet but if you are quiet every time you can be silenced in no time you need to speak up speak the word of god with boldness you are the child of the king of kings and the lord of lords the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell there you cannot afford to play small you can't chicken out for the devil listen devil is a defeated foe you can't allow him to mess to mess you up i refuse to be messed up in the name of jesus christ Abba. Somebody said, say to your neighbor listening with you, say enough is enough, sir. Abba, Abba. Jesus said, Lazarus, come for the Bible says, and he that was dead, hey, Kalabayanda, he that was dead, my God, my God, he that was dead, Lazarus. He was the Bible didn't say he was about to die. The Bible didn't say he was gasping for life. The Bible said he that was dead. The Bible used past tense for him. Listen, what you call past tense in your life, the, the prophetic can bring it into present continuous. Hi, can I declare again? That thing that you think that you have lost is restored unto you sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Ah, 
Labagada Bayanta Laboramre. There's a business person listening to me tonight. And something has been stolen from you some years ago. And you still desire to have it, but you can't find it. Can I declare that the Lord sends you on common dimensions of restoration in the name of Jesus? Far better than you expected. In the name of Jesus. Ah. That the prophetic came forth from our Lord Jesus Christ. Guess what? The, listen, everything around you has ears, including your body system. Listen, it, it Lazarus' body picked the voice of the creator. His brain, his kidney, his liver, his esophagus, his tendon, his ligaments, his cell, his tissue, his the, the, the pancreas. All of them picked, my God, his tympanic membrane. All of them picked the sound of God's voice. They, the Bible said, he that was dead, he that was bound. How can a man be dead and he's bound also? The Bible says he jacked back to life. Lazarus began to come, even though he was waded in grave clothes. The Bible says, uh, Jesus said to them, lose him and let him go. Listen, Lazarus was thinking, but the word of God was still able to penetrate a stinking situation and turn it into a fragrance of testimony for the world to see. Can I announce to you, no matter how stinking your situation is, the prophetic can bring a fragrance out of it. No matter the cocoon of darkness that you have been kept, uh, you will come out like a butterfly bringing new life. I declare life into your life circumstances. I declare life into your ministry. I declare life into your business. I declare life into your relationship. I declare life into your home and your family and among your children and among your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody shout a loud amen? Somebody. The hand of the Lord brought me to the valley. Ezekiel says 37 is where we are. Full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold. There were very many in the open valley, and indeed, hey, they were very dry. And he said to me, Listen, they were very dry. That means you stepping on it too much, they can begin to break. Have you seen bones like that? That they've been so old, they, 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 they can begin to break. He says they were very dry. And he said to me, Because the life giving component had already left. And then he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live again? You would think the prophet would say, Well, I'm optimistic. I believe uh, anything you can do, anything. No, the prophet said, Lord. Ah, because my this this current physical reality uh, is so strong, I don't think I'm not actually sure. But so that you won't feel I'm, I'm I don't have faith, Lord, you know. <laughs> like I often say, when God asks you a question, He's not looking for an answer. He's looking for a response. Post it on your Facebook, my friends, after tonight's meeting. On your Facebook, when God asks you a question, He's not looking for an answer. He's looking for a response of faith. When God asks you a question, my brother, my sister, he's not looking for an answer. He's the omniscient. He knows all things. Before you were born, he knows the questions you asked. All the questions. He knows it. He's looking for a response of faith. That's why he asked Moses, what is that you want? He's looking for a response of faith. Forget about your limitations. Your limitations are not God's limitations. Don't try to put your own limitations as God's limitations. They are two different things. He said, Lord, you know. And again, he said to me, prophesy i look at that again he didn't say uh hope he didn't say have love he didn't say have joy god told him the system of your deliverance is what prophecy are you with me that when you want to come to a, another level of deliverance you don't do uh you you prophesy are you with me you don't you prophesy he said listen you can prophesy your way out of problems you pro he said prophesy to these bones and say to them Oh, dry bones. Listen, there are a lot of people who are not seeing results of prophecy because, listen, they are not prophesying accurately. They are not prophesying specifically. They are not specific in their prophecies. They say things like, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, my family, bless everybody. Uh, let them not die. Any oh God, any wish way, everybody, may the day they are day, may God, uh, my mommy, my daddy, and my sister, every you will not, you will not see any man. You will be, you will be, you will be, you will be, you be in problem like you will continue for long in darkness like that. What should you do? Be specific about it. Tell your neighbor, be specific. Specificity is the foundation for spectacularity. You have to be specific about it. He said, prophesy to these bones. Not any bone, but that situation, because that's what we'll round up with tonight. Prophesy to this. What is that matter in your life that needs urgent, intensive care? You need attendance. He says, What? Prophesy to these bones and say to them, 
oh not random thoughts specific oh dra- channel your faith in the direction of your expectation channel your faith in the direction of your expectation prophesy to these bones and say to them oh dry bones my friends what is the dry bones in your life oh dry bones what is that situation that is lingering and is not allowing for the counsel of god to manifest oh dry bones Mm. because eternal life dwells on your inside you can't allow any dry bone to stay oh dry bones hear the word of the lord thus says the lord god to these bones surely i will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live until breath enters into that situation life cannot come into it so that means the release of breath is the communication of life that's why god says, use words use words why as you release it your breath goes with it the breath of god goes with it life comes god breathed into the nostrils of man it became a living soul Kalabaranda ladabaya prophesy and, and then what will happen i will cause breath to enter into you you will live i'll put sinews on you bring flesh upon you cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live then you shall know that i am the lord your god so i prophesied as i was commanded and as i pro- I, 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 I. he didn't say later he said and as i you see that as i began to take that step as i prophesied there was a noise <laughs> somebody listen to me before 2020 ends there shall be a noise a noise of joy a noise of restoration in your camp in the name of jesus there was a noise mm, there was a noise in the midst of that dead silence cracked bones uh, you know cobwebs and all kinds of scorpions and things around the place he says vultures are eating the flesh and all he says hey, there was a noise and suddenly just like it happened in the book of Joel and the book of acts chapter 2 suddenly can i declare upon somebody sudden miracles are coming your way before the end of 40 days of glory sudden miracles that you never dreamed of are coming your way in the name of jesus suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone i think king james said bone to his bone every bone to his bone that means the prophecy made them locate themselves with that id card can i declare in the name of jesus that by the by the spiritual spiritual gps by the spiritual geographical positioning system your destiny or party respective of where they are may you meet yourselves and may you design yourselves may you locate your destiny or past may your destiny or past locate you even when you you don't carry your phone with you listen god can locate you right here where you are even when you don't have your gadget with you listen god can locate you without google map elijah was in the brook of charity he was in the will of god and god sent what ravens to come and feed him i pray for you help us arise for you in this season and you become a help to others in the name of jesus indeed as i look what happened there was life and bone came together it's time to pray the prayer point tonight is very simple go ahead and begin to engage prophecy over your own life begin to engage the word of god i will give you five minutes my friends over your family and your children you have a wayward child that will not listen that is not what the bible says about him as for me and my house we will serve the lord prophecy is powerful your words start the course of your life use your personal prophecy as a weapon to wage a warfare of faith in the name of jesus you choose the word of god you continue to speak it until it becomes your reality whatever is not founded on prophecy is a lie prophesy 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 over your children over your unborn children over your marital life over your relationship over your future over your destiny prophesy my head is anointed with fresh oil my own is exalted like the horn of the unicorn i am helped by god i am sustained by the power of the spirit lines are falling onto me in pleasant places i know that satan dreads my prophecy therefore i declare that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world the Bible Bible says Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbeliever, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Some of you, your act of prophecy tonight 
is giving glory to God for the things that you have been praying for that you have not seen the manifestation is already a reality in your spirit but it's time for it to find expression some of you need to prophesy and say in the name of Jesus my children are not drug addicts in the name of Jesus my children are great men and women of God walking in purity and godliness walking in character and in holiness loving righteousness and hating iniquity they are full of wisdom and the grace of God is upon them I multiply I'm not small he glorifies me I'm not small he multiplies me I'm not fewer though a thousand may surround me and the walls of wickedness seem to become crashing down against me but my own shall he exalt like the horn of the unicorn my steps are ordered by the Lord the grace of God is upon me the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures I'm led by the Holy Ghost I'm led by the Spirit of God there is no confusion in my life there is no limitation whatsoever I cross walls of limitation there is help for me there is hope for me there is the grace of God my ministry is a global ministry no devil can stop me my ministry reaches the nations we reach the lost we equip the saints we raise youths of purpose character and excellence it may not look like it now though my beginning may be small but my later end will greatly increase the Bible says now we the sons of God but it does not yet appear what we shall be like I may not look like where I'm going now but Satan you cannot stop me because I'm full of the Holy Ghost I'm full of the grace the anointing of God is upon me breaking yokes into pieces because the anointing does not come to master the yokes the anointing comes to shatter the yokes the anointing is upon me yokes are broken bondages are broken by the fatness of the neck I dwell in the word of God I live by the word of God I'm not a slave of my emotions I'm not a slave of my intellect I'm not a slave of my flesh rather I am led by the spirit I walk in the spirit I walk in partnership with the spirit of God my life is submitted to the Holy Ghost my finance is submitted to the Holy Ghost my health is submitted to the Holy Ghost my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit everything about me is submitted to the authority of the Word of God I live by the principles of God's kingdom no weapon whatsoever fashioned against me by whatever mystery it shall not prosper it shall not prosper a thousand may fall at my right and ten thousand at my side but only with my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked oh yanamakalabasata rande de demonda as you begin to pray in the spirit now you know the rema word will come to you the word is season and that is the word you would hold on to you will write it down and you will continue to declare it don't stop don't stop don't stop you have two more minutes now randy 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 roma 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 baba you make progress by the power of the spirit nothing hinders you you fulfill your prophetic destiny you bet you bet the will of god across the nations more souls are won through you more souls are won through your team oh god oh god your mentees are rising they are becoming agents of transformation globally your your tentacles are spread you grow deep you grow root downward and you bear fruit upward you are a blessed man you walk in the path of the godly you don't walk in the path of the ungodly you don't stand in the way of the sinners you don't sit in the seat of the scornful your delight is in the law of the lord and on his law you meditate day and night larry you are like a tree planted by the riverside you bring forth fruit in season your leaves don't wither in all you do you prosper rabada one more minute my friends what has God told you it's time to speak him back to him in prayer Lord you said in 2020 I will experience that Ebenezer dimension Rabonda what of these areas that you begin to declare the word of God concerning it I flourish I thrive Rabinato Rabinato Paladabayandeladaba nothing is impossible for you to do oh god Rata Bata Baya, 
Oh, masata da bayanda ragada brada balada bo. Shada bada ba. Lika bo 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 bo. Yada bada bara kabrada bada brada bada 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 ba. Shaba ba 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 da brada balada brada balada ba. Shada da 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 bada 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 ba. Yada da 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 ba 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 yada ba. Randa da da ba kala ba. Randa da 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 ba ya. Randa da 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 ba 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 ya. You are making progress, Mato Radusha Rabada Braga Baba Baba Baba. Oh, Masata Labada Bada Bada Baba. Yagada Vabrada Basat. Leko Pradi Sabrata. Randa Dada Bada 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 Baba. La Prosa Zabraga Daba. I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. You make progress. You make progress. Rabba Baba in the will of God. You make progress. You prosper in the will of God. Bala baranta la braga da ba ha 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 Hey masata la bada ba ya gada ba ko Ruta lo vani kasata Shi gada valandra tazas Ravaska valada Ideas, ideas, you have ideas You are not dumb, you have ideas You are not foolish, you have ideas You have ideas, you have ideas The inspiration of God is upon you The spirit of God inspires you You bring forth good things You bring forth wisdom You bring forth solutions You are a problem solver You are ayada bada bada ba you are a change agent. Regada bada brada bada ba. Abala baya, abala baya da baya ya ya ba shaka. Regada bada bada. Oh yes. Ila ba 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 ya da la ba. Ah rada ba 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 da ba. Shada ba la. Rada da 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 ba kabala da. Some of you need to call the names of your loved ones and pray their salvation. Intercede for their salvation. Rada bakos itabrate. By my words command ye me. Ah! La da 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 ba da ba rata la ba da ba katushi da 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 ba. The word said, "Ask for, ask of me, and I will give you nations for your sakes. I will give you the nations for your inheritance and your utmost part of the earth for your possession." We ask for the nations in Kingdom Network International. The nations. Glorifying your name, fly, flying the banner of Yahweh across territories by the wisdom and intelligence of the divine. We, we come up with ideas, we come up with strategy. The Holy Ghost gives us, He shows us. We bear fruit and our fruit remain. Somebody is pressing in. Somebody is, I don't know. Uh, there is a pull in my spirit. Virtue is leaving me. Listen, somebody is pressing in. Maha. Ah, the garment of shame is taken away. The garment of reproach is taken away. New things will I do, say the Spirit of God. As you step towards untested water, new thing will I do. New thing will I do. Remember, you know the former things. When I consider the things of old, behold, I do a new thing, and now shall it spring forth. I even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert by the power of prophecy. Oh yes. Kalabasha, Parabadabalaba, Edabande Kerebo, Shadadadabalaba. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ah, Malabo, Lava Bala Cabradaba. Some of you, when you stay alone tonight, you still need to press until you have that note of victory. 2021 is for men of conviction. If you don't have the note of victory in 2020, you'll be scared in 2021. You'll be scared to your bones. But listen, when you have the note of victory, irrespective of what comes your way, <laughs> you are unperturbed. You rise like an edifice above every situation and circumstances. Yes, I release upon you by the power of the Spirit, that spirit of prayer, that spirit of supplication comes upon you. In Jesus' name. You will experience the supernatural. You will see the glory of God. You experience the goodness of God. You experience the favor of God. You are lifted forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Return with your testimony. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining tonight. By the message of God, we continue tomorrow. Amen.
सारा पता Do all the you can do, all the you can do.